Hi, this is Eric with Tech Shop Magazine. Grab your scan tool. We're going to take a look at one of the common trouble codes you'll see on a regular basis. This video is sponsored by LaunchTech USA. Solutions with the power to perform fast and accurate OEM level diagnostics and repair. Visit LaunchTechUSA.com to learn more. Today, we're going to take a look at DTC P0401 EGR Insufficient Flow. P0401 sets when the control unit, as the code is defined, determines that EGR flow is less than expected based on the readings from different monitoring criteria. EGR, or exhaust gas recirculation, is an emission control. At high combustion temperatures, harmful gases called oxides of nitrogen are formed. To control this, the EGR system directs exhaust gas into the intake to mix it with fresh air. This change in the composition of the intake air reduces the combustion temperatures, ultimately reducing the production of this harmful pollutant that forms smog and acid rain. Multiple different methods are used to monitor EGR operation depending on manufacturer, including EGR temperature, intake manifold pressure, front O2 sensor signal, EGR position sensor reading, spark knock, and exhaust back pressure. In many cases, your customer won't notice any drivability or other symptoms other than MIL illumination. EGR sensor readings can be viewed with a scan tool, and in most cases, EGR operation can be commanded to begin your diagnosis. Vacuum operated EGR valves can be opened with a vacuum pump to check operation, and a noticeable RPM change will occur at idle if the flow is sufficient. Since there are so many different methods of monitoring EGR operation, it's very important with this code to read the OEM information in regard to troubleshooting and following the manufacturer's diagnostic flow chart provides you the quickest results in most cases. Over time, you get used to regular fixes on specific vehicles, but when you're not seeing anything obvious, one of the most common causes is carbon buildup, causing blocked passageways or restricted EGR valves. If all related sensor readings are present, and within normal specifications, disassembly and inspection frequently uncovers a blockage. It's important to note that partially restricted passageways may still allow enough flow for proper operation, and even if you find a defective sensor, the passageways could only be a few thousand miles away from plugging, causing the same code. In these situations, while you know it's a different cause, your customer would perceive it as a poor repair. So even if you find a bad sensor, it's a good idea to inspect for any restriction and quote a clean out to prevent a recurrence of the same code. So wrapping things up, always look for manufacturer information and TSBs. As with all computer-related diagnostics, the possibility of reprogramming or an electrical problem exists. Manufacturer information can save you a lot of time and a lot of trouble. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.